Hey guys, my name is Matt Joseph Diaz, and I'm working in conjunction with Bravacy.com to bring you something very special today. Now, I'm a body positivity advocate and public speaker. Many of you might know me from a video a little over a year ago where I showed the excess skin from losing over 270 pounds. I was 497 pounds in 2009, and because of losing over half my body weight, I was left with all this excess skin that really troubled me for a long time. So I treated my body like a secret because I was ashamed. And then after the video went viral, I realized how much I was worth. These things I was always so insecure about, my excess skin, the numbers on the scale, none of these things defined what I was worth. So because of that and because of all you wonderful people, I dedicated my life to spreading a positive message. And during the past few months, I got both the surgeries to remove the excess skin. One in February and then one last week. So today I'd like to share my new body with you while I share my message. So the past year of my life has been pretty fucking crazy. This video in all of its forms was seen by over 150 million people. Almost overnight, I became this really important figure in the body positive movement, especially because I'm a guy and there's not really many of us in there. Thank God I wore clean underwear today. I mean, every day. I wear clean underwear every day. Sorry, mom. I became a public speaker. I quit my job to write about this full time. In February, I got the first surgery to remove the extra skin from my stomach. It was covered by the doctors on CBS. And then on Tuesday, May 17th, I got the surgery to totally redo my chest and upper back. And it was streamed on BuzzFeed's Facebook page for hundreds of thousands of people. Our relationship to our bodies is one that's always changing because our bodies are always changing. Being a human being is being in a constant state of growth. By the way, my arms are totally stuck in these sleeves because I can't really move them that much right now. <laughs> God damn it. This is the chest binder I have to wear because it's only been a week and a half since the surgery. But I'm allowed to take it off temporarily, so check this shit out. It's about to get weird. See, originally I wanted this surgery because I thought something was wrong with me. I thought my body in the way it was made me ugly. My anxiety, my fear of rejection, it all led to me being too afraid to open up. But then after I realized that my body had value even though it was different and even though it was strange, I wanted the surgery for a different reason. I didn't want it to fix me because I wasn't something that needed fixing. I wanted it because I wanted to continue to grow. I wanted to continue to make positive changes. And unfortunately, because of all the health risks involved with having all this extra skin, I kind of hit my wall there. <sighs> It's still really fresh. This is my upper back now. The scar is still really fresh, obviously. There's still medical tape on it. And as you can tell, I still have a drainage tube from the surgery. But after over 150 million people saw me be upset at my body at the way it was, after changing and finally learning how to love my body no matter what state it's in. This is me now. This is my new body. It's been a lot of work. It's still really difficult. I'm still in a lot of pain, but this is who I am now. You can see where they cut off and reattached my nipples entirely. You can see the scars going all the way down, wrapping around, going all the way across my back. I have bruising from the surgery. My belly button is fucking fake. They made this. I didn't want one. I told my surgeon to leave it blank so I could be like Kyle XY. Or like get a sick tattoo where it would be. Or do something super weird like put a USB port where it would be. Hey Matt, can I charge my iPhone? <laughs> Got you fam. <laughs> this is the new me, and it's valuable not because it's fixed, not because I went through surgery, but because it's me, and because I have value. I'm also like slightly more muscular than I expected to be, because I've been working out, but I feel like I've been wearing a blanket for the past few years, and now it's like, hey, check out, I have muscles apparently. But this is who I am, and especially now, but for the past year, it's been good to be me. Feels liberating feels free. It's really fucking hot in this room, so like this whole thing is really appreciated right now. I'm about to just open the window and just, hello world! I've had a lot of messages to share with people in the past year or so. I love what I do. I love my body. I love your body. That sounds like I'm hitting on you, but I'm not. Hey honey, you know that I'm a body positive advocate because I'm pretty positive about that body. I'm gonna try that line sometime. It is definitely not gonna work. But of all the things I've said and written and tried to share with people, there's one thing I wanna make sure everybody knows every day. You are so important. You have so much value. And there's nothing wrong with you just because you look different. Even if you don't like certain things about the way you look right now, refuse to hate yourself. I wrote this poem a while back and I made a YouTube video about it. And the ending lines of it really stick with me to this day. Adore who you are regardless of size, and fuck anybody who says otherwise. If you're tall or short, if you're fat or thin, you deserve to love the body you're in. I love the body I'm in. I want you to do the same. That's all for now, guys. Really quick while I'm still naked, because there's a window right here. Check out ravishly.com for a bunch of great articles, including stuff that I write. Check out my Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, Facebook, all at Matt Joseph Diaz. And if you want to continue to support me and the work I do, check out mattjosephdiaz.com slash donate. I'm glad I could share this with you guys. Have a good one.